Hey guys, it's Matt. In terms of getting through this clown show, uh, we've had a lot of laughs recently, some movie reviews, some light stuff, but uh, this is not going to be one of those presentations. This is a very serious presentation, but it's in reaction to pretty much the darkest presentation I've ever seen from a Dr. Vernon Coleman that's making its way around the different platforms, truth platforms. It has 100,000 views just on brand new tube. Nothing has 100,000 views on brand new tube. And this presentation from Dr. Vernon Coleman is very concerning to me. Now this has been sent to me. My presentation back at that presentation will piss off those that are addicted to the fear porn of the truth community. And there's not that many that are here, but in terms of other channels, uh, they, there is a certain percentage of the truth community, it's like 20%, that they want the Armageddon videos. They want the next version of the movie The Road. They want the fear porn. They're addicted to it. And again, this channel has never been about that. So I don't think we have that many people here. But nevertheless, it is an addiction to a degree that runs through all of us in the pursuit of truth. The sensationalism. Now, this is what this Dr. Vernon Coleman, I believe his name is, the old man in a chair, just a friendly old man in a chair, his, his presentation delivers. Now I ask if, if you are a big believer in Dr. Vernon Coleman, I ask you here to hear me out. With, and, and let me present the dangers of this sort of presentation that he's making. Okay, I've been doing this for 10 years. I have a degree of credibility. This guy just shows up. Well, he was a doctor, Matt, and you're not. Okay, but there's there's bigger things at stake than just being a doctor. And only a doctor would have the credibility to speak on such things. Not when you're talking about essentially the end of the world or the end of the human race. You better have your facts lined up if you're going to go that far and you're going to get that dark. And he doesn't. All right, he doesn't. So, um, guys, he, he's either one of two things. He's either a first grade truther who's trying to help, but he's not helping at all. He's just, he's trying. I don't, I'm not, I don't know who he is. He's trying, but it's absolutely the wrong presentation. You can't go this dark. There's reasons we know you can't go this dark based on nothing but intuition, whims on, on how the action Jackson Nation is going to play out. Um, can't basically start out a presentation saying I'm a doctor and we're all doomed and 90 to 95% or the end of the human race. Just You can't go there unless you really have a reason to go there and you have the, your facts lined up. And he has zero, zero facts lined up that lead to that conclusion. Okay, first grade truth are trying to help. His presentation's all wrong. And you, you better be a little bit different in how you make your presentation so you don't implant or manifest into a collective consciousness, a collective consciousness of creative beings that this is coming, something this dark is coming. Okay, we'll give him the pass. First grade truth or he doesn't know what he's doing. Or he's talking about the, the we all know the elite want 95%, you know, wiped out and the, he'll talk about the evil cabal. Maybe he's a first grade truth or, hey, shouldn't be doing what he's doing. But the, what's the other side of it? That he's absolutely a deception agent who's put here to implant a very dark message, to manifest a very dark message inside of our community. Just because it's it's an old guy in a chair, I can't, I shouldn't put that on the table. In terms of how they do business, studying this evil genius of how it do, does business, of course I'm going to put that on the table. I have to put that on the table, but I don't know. Okay, the wise man or woman says he doesn't know. His presentation, oh, he, he has it all figured out. Basically, the human race is pretty much doomed. So, guys, I don't, a lot of people have sent this to me. I don't know how many of you would easily see through this presentation or, or when listening to Dr. Vernon Coleman um, and very quickly be saying to yourself, he shouldn't be going to this dark place so, so quickly unless he, he absolutely has all his facts lined up as to why. Um, you know this this absolute darkness is coming. So I, I've I've left a link in it below because I have to if I'm going to talk about a presentation. But I don't want this sort of message spread around. So let's just go over a few things, guys. Um, I kind of did a tag cloud or his key phrases when I went over his presentation twice. It's kind of like the old tag clouds that existed on blogs. What words were mentioned most frequently? Um, if you remember what blogs used to do uh, 10, 12, or 15 years ago. So he starts off with 
I don't exaggerate. My predictions have been absolutely accurate. And unless we work together, we're doomed. Now, this is the first 24 seconds. We're all doomed unless we work together. This is the first 24 seconds of the presentation. I'm listening. I'm going, okay. Well, what, what's the evidence here? So it's pretty quickly into the presentation, I'll just jump right to the, the, the part that really, you know, I... I I had I didn't, I wouldn't if I wasn't making a presentation about this if I didn't have a channel I wouldn't have listened to it at all I would have turned it off and go this person is either a deception agent or doesn't know what he's talking about I would have turned it off but I have to do this for the benefit of the channel and those trying to interpret a message like this he says um, I just made notes like the tag clouds of key phrases and things that he said during his presentation we all know that 90 we all know that 90 to 95 percent of the population um, the elites want to wipe that amount of us out we all know that we all know the elites and again incredibly a big percentage of people here are going well yeah Matt we all know we we all know they want to kill over 90 percent of us off how do you know that because you've been told that over and over again inside the truth community from truth channels that just peddle on fear and fear porn. Why? Do, what's the evidence of that? There isn't any. There isn't any. There's no evidence whatsoever based on all I can, what do we have to work with? Oh, just our past history, the lives we've lived, the lives our fathers lived or our mothers, our grandparents. There's no evidence based on past history that they want to wipe out 90 to 95 percent of the population zero i don't care what's on a georgia guidestone or what's carved into some piece of stone somewhere so in terms of what we have to go on we have nothing to go on but early on in his presentation we all know per agenda 21 and they want to may maybe maybe that's where they want to go you'd need to make a real strong presentation as to where you think that's where they want to go but i'm just pointing out there's no evidence to that up to this point zero so to go there very early on in a in a presentation that later leads to showing the listener of the presentation how the series of renting the movie action jacksonation i'm obviously you know what i'm talking about the last word is similar jacksonation how a series of them will lead to some sort of a reaction or a mutation that could lead to the end of the human race. Is he really going here? Just to just to float that idea out into a collective consciousness. If you are a believer that collective consciousness is at least partially responsible for creating reality itself per the principles of quantum physics or whatever, it's very dangerous to to float that sort of thing you better know what you're talking about and as i went over his presentation he doesn't know what he's talking about there's no evidence that they want to kill 90 to 95 percent and even if 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 i was taking a podium against somebody and and my my uh limitations in in making that presentation that they're not out to kill 90 95 percent they'd say matt you can't use past history what have they demonstrated in the past that they want to kill 90 95 percent well nothing you can't even use that in the presentation i still could probably um, make a solid presentation against the person i was debating against saying well uh, a farmer that has a farm um, if this is a, as you describe a prison planet and we are slaves and we serve and does a farmer want to kill livestock did, did does it, did the slave owner in the south want to kill livestock or did or did the livestock or whatever you call the prison does it serve in some way whether it be going into the factory things we understand within our bookends going to serve or paying money or or the sweat of labors or potentially things that fall outside known reality bookends people that talk about uh the harvesting of louche the harvesting of of energy um, why, uh, for anybody tuning in this video that doesn't know this channel very well, why do you think that media collectively, or when we when we look at say the news, it's always it's constantly based around fear. The reality itself, working through its minions running around or the news, is always trying to put a collective consciousness or a a, a large group of of human beings into a certain state. Why do you think the entire society is based on worry? fear stress anxiety we are led to believe this is just the best a modern society can do and the the stresses and anxieties and worries that come along with our our modern living is just the best now it gets very complicated when you're talking about over 300 million people 
But there are other very smart people that say many of these stresses and worries and anxieties could have been eliminated a long time ago. And it that whatever is here needs the collective to to constantly put that sort of frequency or resonance or energy out into the ether. Basically that something potentially is feeding from it. Now if this is if if these concepts are new to you, you haven't been, you've been uh researching these things for a very long time and I don't have the time to explain it to you but you do understand the basic concept that if there's a farmer doesn't want to kill his livestock you probably get something from the livestock if this is a prison planet they probably get something from us our labors um, if, if you're a slave owner you don't want to kill your livestock so there's many reasons that you just ignoring that there's nothing in the past where they want to kill 90 95 percent of us there's a lot of if you don't even use past history there's a lot of reasons why just logically it makes sense they wouldn't want to kill 90 90 90 to 95 percent of us they would get something from us because they have the opportunity or had the opportunity many times in the past hundred years to kill 90 to 95 percent of us you just you just turn the power grid off um, what just happened to Texas let that go another six weeks and then do it up and down the Northeast blame it on anything blame it on a an EMP or a soul Bl they could blame it on a solar event it, it would create the worst parts of Mad Max the road warrior inside of six to eight weeks they had the opportunity to take the population way down if that's what they wanted to do they didn't need to go through all this putting the world into a face covering constant pre presentation about all what we're going through now with CV they didn't need to do all that so it's like why did they work so hard over the course of a hundred or two hundred or however long this has been going on to get a human population into a certain position or condition they work so hard to do that just to kill 99 percent over the next 18 months as they use the action jacksonation to do it that's what they that's that's what the last hundred or two hundred years was for albert pike's predictions about you need world war one you need world war two then you need world war three moving human population human condition to a certain place you do all that and just to kill us over the next 18 months that makes perfect sense you spend all this time um getting your ant your you have, first you start with a small ant colony you can see the through the glass you can see the ants making the tunnel through the sand or whatever and then you get better and better supplies for the ant colony and you, the ants are doing exactly what you want them to do and you're feeding them um, to, in a certain way to get them to do what you want them to do and you love your ant colony and you got the right kind of lights now and it's a real nice setup kind of like a terrarium where you feed geckos um crickets and then one day you say, well of course i wanted to kill 90 to 95 percent of them you just pick it up and smash it on the ground is that really does that really make sense N no it, it doesn't so if you're going to say something that dark dr dr coleman you, you better have your your facts lined up either working for the wrong team or first grade truth or either way shouldn't be listened to it's not enough information uh, to back up the dark things that he's saying so um once you get to from a truth perspective guys where we all should be if you're at, a, at like this channel you've been doing this for several years once you you're listening to someone's presentation you're trying to be objective in the interpretation trying to interpret it fairly once someone says well we all know the elites want to kill 90 to 95 percent that point you go no this this is this person doesn't know what they're doing or they're working for the wrong team turn it off immediately we all should have that ability now instead of being sucked in to it um, some other talks about if you just do the tag cloud of the key phrases it's so dark that you better be able to back this up and he doesn't talking about millions will be doomed um, uh, the 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 action jacksonation and it's a danger to the survival of the human species the entire species is at risk all life you go there you manifest that idea into the collective consciousness you better have your facts lined up doesn't doesn't but people are going to pass this all over or pass it all around pass it to their family man um talking about he talks about uh, a mandatory renting of the action jacksonation movie starring carl weathers a, a mandatory well again that's that's one of these key points where you go well if you're still talking about mandatory that person doesn't know what they're talking about he started off his presentation saying that his predictions are absolutely accurate um really but you're still talking about we we know i i, I came out and admitted like when i make a mistake i come right out and admit it i said initially 
one year ago, I thought they would want 99%. I never said mandatory because I don't think that's how this reality works. It wants, it needs your consent. The way the entire reality works, how it, it, it asks a human being to screw itself over, it typically needs your consent. Not always. There, there seems to be examples that fly in the face of you needing to sign your name in blood to the contract or do it to yourself, but mostly, mostly it needs your consent. And I was, I've said several times, I, I thought they wanted close to 99%, and I said this was a big problem, uh, the main problem with my prediction of how this would go. Most of my predictions on this have been have been in the neighborhood of being accurate. But now, uh, I'll say it again, we see they, they want 20, 25% of the population not to get it. That, that serves them in some way. I don't have time to go into it now. Um, there's a lot of reasons why that serves the ultimate agenda. Even if there will be another uh, event or something they call a strain that then they could blame on those that don't go rent the Carl Weathers movie Action Jackson Nation. And I'm not trying to be funny in this. I'm just, you know, this is the, it's kind of a funny hobo code that was developed, so it comes off as funny, but, and I have no, I, I can't just change up on the fly. I have no other way to, 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 to refer to it, but I'm not trying to be funny, and this is a very serious presentation. So we know, we know without a doubt, you know, but that doesn't, it makes a lot of sense. I don't have time to get into it. Why they, why in the United States, they want 25, 30 million people not to get it. Or it makes perfect sense. So we know that now. So if he's talking about mandatory, mandatory, well, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And you watch as a truth, someone in the truth community, you watch a presentation. Somebody says that. You go, this person doesn't know what they're talking about. And you turn it off. So then you have things like if potentially, I have to keep on the table he's a deception agent. I have to keep that on the table. I've said in the past 80% of of truth YouTube channels are are actually working on the wrong side. I don't mean they're all in on it. I mean they're serving they're, they're serving what I call the the not milk. They're serving that agenda whether they know it or not. And I used to say 80% are all channels. I'm going to up it to 90%. 90%. Most aren't in on it. Most aren't getting marching orders, but in some way they're serving exactly what what I kill what I call the not milk once. I'm going to up it officially now to 90%. So my advice, if you take nothing away from this video, is when you watch, even when you watch my videos, when you watch a truth video, before everyone, please understand and remember, there's a 90% chance that what is being said is meant to mislead or manipulate or to put you in the wrong place. Okay, if you take nothing away other than that. So then he says, you know, then if you're making a presentation like this, and I have to assume, I have to keep on the table that he's not working for us. After all the evil genius we've seen, all the ways we've been screwed, I'm just gonna oh here's the friendly old man in a chair. Oh, just I'm just gonna just gonna take the let me take the skeptic hat off. No, no, you take that hat, skeptic hat, and you pull it down hard as a shield. But it's it's if you were working for the wrong team, you're gonna you're gonna lay all this first grade stuff down. You're gonna say, um, uh, what does he say? Well, I'm banned. Oh, that's instant credibility in the truth community. Um, Matt lost his his Texas uh, Shrug channel because the because the uh, the CH uh, campaign in Virginia came after him, and uh, oh that's instant credibility for Matt. In a way, it is if it's real. So he's banned. But you're going to use that if if he's trying to deceive, he's going to use it. I'm banned. Immediately, my Wikipedia page was rewritten, and oh, he, b- b- first grade truth. Oh, this guy really must be talking truth. He was banned. This guy really must be talking truth. His Wikipedia page was redone. Ooh. ooh. Well, understand this. This is what you're going to say if you're out to de- deceive people. <laughs> um, you're going to just you're going to you're going to you're going to mention. Then he says, "I was attacked." Oh, okay. You know, these are all anybody at, at this level. Watch, you know, with, with us here at this channel, you've been doing this many many years. You should. Everybody should know the red flags by now. I shouldn't have to spend a lot of time on it. Um, saying strange things like, um, even the authorities admit. That what the key part being even the authorities admit that one in one hundred deaths associated by you know going down and and, and getting the two rounds um, only only one in one hundred um, will be reported. Is that, am I getting that right? Even the authorities admit one in one hundred will not. Okay, even the authorities admit 
that only 1 in 100 will be reported. That 99... Well, it might be true. Okay, it might be... The, the key part is even the authorities admit. It might be true that if there are serious problems and, you know, you go for your two rounds and then you're going to, oh, let's just, great, let's play golf and you just go to the golf course and you're like, what are you going to play? Three wood off the tee and you just go... Because of the two rounds? Just, you know, if that happens... Um, it is possible that they would want to cover that up, of course. But even the, the authorities admit that it's going to be covered up. Like the New York Times is going to say, oh, yeah, all, all those problems and all those deaths, yeah, that's we're, we're going to cover that up. No authority admits that. Show that to me in a major. So that was just some weird thing. I, I, don't, I don't buy he can back that up. Have I looked into it much? No. Um, talks, initial, talks about, uses the word... Um, uh, it's like when I, if you coax somebody, I'm going to coax them to believe a bullcrap presentation. See, COA, it's like that. It's like fake, you know. He, he uses, I don't know what I can say. He says that word and lets you to believe that, yeah, it's just a, but then he's talking about, then he's talking about deadly mutations that come about because of people that take the, or rent the Carl Weathers movie Action Jacksonation. That's going to lead to, I mean, a strain that literally, like, um, in the movie Armageddon, it was a global killer. You know, like, is like, well, how big is this asteroid? It's the size of Texas, Mr. President. It's a global killer. He's talking about it, the the V developing into that because of how um, they've made a mistake. And but well, wait a well, you say, well, wait a second, is it is it real? Or you just you just use you use the word like coax. Is it which one is it? He's presenting both kind of in the same presentation, which didn't make any sense. But then then even stranger, he says, well, talks about you know the, for all the first grade truth stuff, the evil cabal, you know, uh, you know probably he probably would like to do the police lineup of all the all the bad guys. He probably knows the list of all the bad guys. This is if he's on our side trying to help, um, saying they made a mistake, they made a mistake. Um, I, I really, they made a mistake that could end the human race. It's like, what? So you're that sophisticated. You're not only so sophisticated as a truther in terms of understanding what is being laid down, that you're going to not only say that we're all basically doomed, but for whatever reason, but you're saying that they made a mistake. Well, I thought they wanted to kill 90 to 95 percent. See, it's it's con- it's conflicting all over the place. Well, if they want to kill 90 to 95 percent, why did they make a mistake? They made a mistake. And first of all, and they have unlimited endless resources, um, university labs. They're, so this guy, the old man in a chair who hasn't practiced medicine for I don't know how long, he knows they made a mistake, but the evil cabal with a hundred with a, with a trillion dollars of, of medical infrastructure design uh, evil things that are just going to wipe us all they don't they have no idea what they're doing but how did they make a mistake if they want to kill 99 percent of 90 95 percent of us in the first place do they want to kill us or not so what um which one is it uh, then he says and the, you know he talks it, this kind of says i don't even know how this it doesn't even relate to the other parts of his presentation and you'll see what i'm talking about in a second saying, well, who did they pick to lead the charge against this thing in Europe? They picked whatever his name. And the guy in the United States, who did they, who did they pick to lead? They picked the guy with the, with the first initials, F, Dr. F. You know, we all know the person. And he says, they picked the wrong person to lead the response. But then very, very uh, soon after that, or right a few minutes away from that, he says, evil cabal. Well, if they pick the wrong person, it implies that they're actually good people trying to get through this. They're just making mistakes, mistakes that could be ultimately catastrophic for the human race. But you, then you can't acknowledge there's an evil cabal. An evil cabal wouldn't have picked the wrong person. Well, Matt, he's just... He, no, he's... He, he say, well, Matt, he's just he's making a, a mistake in his f- choice of phrases or whatever. No, no, no. You make a presentation saying that there's a good chance the human race is doomed. You can't make a mistake in your choice of phrases or, or word choice. Okay, you better be consistent. You better be clear. You better be accurate. If you're going to go right off the bat saying we are doomed because of what, so just come on, guys. I I could do this with this presentation all day long. 
I mean, mention the um, the Melvin P. Gates character is mentioned three times. Um, um, too late for from for these people. It's too late to be saved. Millions will be doomed. Well, then he's he is talking about millions doomed. Well, that's nothing compared to uh, potentially 99 percent of us, 90 to 95 percent of us, or the end of the human race. And that's so by itself. That is so irresponsible. I mean, even if it was the darkest thing in the world, and and whether it would be in some part of the presentation, it seems like accidentally these strains will develop that could wipe everybody out. But then on the other side, well, is it a mistake or do they mean to do it? He's inconsistent there. Even if that happens, even if that happens, there's no there's no possible way it could ever lead to the end of the human race. There, there's not going to be people with natural immunity anywhere. There's not going to be certain isolated parts of what we call Earth that could isolate themselves off, that have a natural immunity. There's too many different variations in the human being. Come on. I mean, come on. Uh, guys, look, it took me, it took me 60 seconds watching this to go, this person either doesn't know what they're talking about as a first grade truth or trying to help in all the wrong ways, implanting very dark ideas um, into into those that potentially are capable of manifesting those dark ideas, or this person's completely working for the other side. I'm never going to take this off the table. Who's the friendly old man in the chair? What's his reputation in truth? Where did he come from? What's his track record in trying to help? But let's just bow down and and uh, because it's a, a guy that says he's a doctor, just bow down and um, you know spread his his video around. Because even in the way he tells you to spread it around, it it's a, gives me a bad negative feeling. He talks about things like just the word choice. Um, again, I'm keeping keeping both on the table, but I'm I lean to one side on who this person is. Okay, I haven't watched all his videos. Maybe that's not fair, but talks about uh, you have to share it. You have to share it. Who would do like? I mean, who would use that, guys? If I came up with something and I was like, I was really concerned for all of us, I would constantly apologize and say, guys, I hope I'm wrong about this, but I, oh, I, I think you got to share this. I mean, I, I wouldn't be like, Matt's determined this. You must share this now. It just, it just, it doesn't. It's not the way a natural. I don't know. I, I don't want to say that, but it's just a dark. It's a, it's a, it, even the way the presentation's made, it's not, it's not the way. Even if, if somebody I you know trusted in this community, would make a, pre they really believe that a certain dark thing was coming. I'm just telling you the way they would make the presentation, um, would be much different, would be more human, would be more, I don't know, empathetic or sympathetic. I don't know. It's just I got a lot of bad vibes for a lot of different reasons. But I, I'm not going to. I'm not making this video based on bad vibes. I'm making this video based on the fact that whatever he's presented here, there's nothing to back it up. And I mean nothing. If he presented it like, guys, I don't like the way this is happening because this could happen. If he presented it like that, this could. When you do this round of action, Jackson Nations, when you do this and that. This is this is potentially a very serious side effect. It's not the presentation isn't made like that. It's too definitive and it's 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 riddled with red flags in my opinion. Guess I lost the people that were addicted to the fear porn. Thanks for watching.